So we are having a tag at night over at the neighbor's house, or actually the cousin's house, and uh, we've got some great friends over, and they're actually doing all the cooking. I I'm just doing the bread, but uh, I'm going to show you all what's going on with Italian night, dinner night. So these are uh, from St. Louis, oh, wow. they're from the hill, which is an Italian area up yeah. there. They got um, seasoning, meat and cheeses, and everything else, and their flash, flash rose. Raviolis, okay, so they're cheese raviolis. Uh, deep fried, more or less beef with some cheese and some seasoning. Oh, cool. So Ouch. Hi, Chris. All right, y'all, I'm going to step back and let him handle this for a minute. So we are here. We're done. And with the uh, ravioli. St. Louis Hill ravioli. Yeah. Kids out there playing. Hopefully, I'll have a video documentary of this whole event here. He's gonna put some of this cheese on him after he gets some off there. Actually, you can sprinkle it on while I'm okay. holding it while Let's they're still see hot. See if I can video uh, and work, do it all at the same this, time. Yeah. Oh, sure. Maybe. That's it. Yeah, I don't hurt nothing. There we go. All right. Cheese ain't gonna hurt nothing. We got some lasagna in there. We got what's the other pasta? The pasta. We got a uh, chicken alfredo. And we got a uh, homemade lasagna with sweet Italian and uh, ground beef. Oh man! Woo! We good. I think a big old tiramisu is coming in the background. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh, uh -huh. yes, I'm gonna go ahead and try one here for you. Kind of get out of all the. Yelling in there. Oh, that's good. Mm, mm. That's right. That's good. This is the chicken alfredo right here, y'all. Look at that. Homemade, making it all day. I made homemade marinara. And then he's got. I took the lid off. Get in the oven. All right. Oh, look at that lasagna, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Y'all, so we're having just a kind of antipasta here. A good salad. I don't think these are going to make it. We got decorations everywhere. Okay. You are eating the uh, fennec of the uh, chicken and the alfredo. How's that? Delicious. Good, 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 good. I can't wait till the big uh, lasagna comes out. That's what I'm waiting for. So. I made sausage balls and all this shit. You come in 3 30, 4 o'clock, start pounding food. I'm like, oh, it's cooking stuff. Like Monday night. Yes. So he's just waiting for his 15 pound homemade lasagna to exit the. the uh, what is this thing? 375. 375 uh, Whirlpool Gallery, whatever this thing is. That's right. Awesome. <laughs> Correct? Correct. Okay. One, two, three. Let's go. I'm going to pull the tray out. Okay, there you go. I'm just hoping all these hot oils is. I'm going to be honest with you. Hot. Ready? Yeah, we got one. That's that. Two. We took two of us. Me and a Joe. Mm -hmm. oh, Me and a guy and a half of a Gilio. All right, here we go. That side has no ricotta, this side does. You want ricotta? Yeah. Yeah, it's Italian. This is going to be a scooping mess. It's ricotta. Ricotta. You know what it is? It's like the basil. We are tired. There we go. That's all right. Like I said, the May comes tomorrow. Ooh, that's all right. right. It looks Probably right. warm. All right. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. The good news is when you take a scoop out, it fills back in. It fills back in. The never, never any lasagna. There we go. The never ending tray. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Let's see what we got here. This is going to be a better scoop. That is disrespecting the hell out of that spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a better scoop.
Okay, let's do one more on camera here. All right, you ready, Joe? Uh, I'm ready. Going in deep. Ooh, look at that cheese. It's mm. Not quite pie consistency. All right, y'all will not believe this. My friends that are hosting the party actually have been to Italy and got them a real bottle of limoncello. Here we go. Yeah. So we'll have us a little, little snoot of a limoncello. Oh, yeah. Limoncello right here. Um, yeah, it helps with the digestive system. Mike has had this limoncello that he brought back from Italy in his freezer for at least about 10 years. I had it through when he lived in Germany. He's been all over the world and carried this limoncello with him. Absolutely amazing. We're about to have some of this limoncello. This is it, y'all. The limoncello. Hawaii. Time to go infantry. I moved to Georgia. Did basic training. All right. Vic, where did you have some? I went to Hawaii. That's where he met his greatness. I met him in Hawaii. He's telling me a story about his been all over the world. Two and a half years, roughly, in Hawaii. Hold that one. Let me check, though. Let me check, though. Hold on, here we go. Oh, yes. Great. All right, tell me, let check, though. Salute. Because when I graduated high school, I love you. Oh. Fresh lemon. Speaking of limoncello, my good friend Bo from up in the northeast, Tang, uh, he sent me this stuff, this, uh, this fig vinegar, and it's absolutely wonderful. We've been having this tonight and everything, and uh, Bo actually sent me some of his homemade uh, family limoncello. It's very, very good. I so just want to give him a shout out. This is the only uh, store bought thing we have like. This is a. I'm a great. But everything else was homemade. Culture shock. Like, I grew up in New Orleans where everybody was like super chill. And then I came here and everybody was like, what church do you do? I've been to church twice in my life. Awesome. I love the geography.